They come in all different colours, textures, flowers and forms. The wonderful world of cacti and succulents are an excellent starting point for the first time gardener, but they can also be a lot of fun for the experienced enthusiasts. Back when I first started in horticulture, I was obsessed with buying and collecting succulents and cacti. And this is just a small portion of my collection here. And on a rainy day like it is today in Melbourne, they still grow really well. You just need to know the right steps to care for them. And I'm gonna show you how. Most varieties love to be grown in a warm, sunny position in the garden. In cold climates, which are exposed to heavy frosts, keeping them under cover or in a greenhouse is ideal and will prevent any damage to them. Even though these plants have a tough appearance, they still love to be cared for from time to time. If you keep them planted in containers or in pots like mine, they will still require watering. They require more water in their growing seasons, which is spring and summer, but not every day. Also check the soil before watering. Poke your finger into the pot to feel if the soil is wet. If dry, water away. Another tip is to use a slow release fertiliser developed just for these guys. They don't actually like a lot of nitrogen. Too much nitrogen can cause weak and stunted growth because a lot of these varieties originate in an arid landscape where they're not used to being exposed to large amounts of nutrients. So using a slow release fertiliser is a really good idea. When potting, I like to use a layer of horticultural charcoal at the base of the pot as this helps to keep the overall hygiene of the soil in tip-top shape. I like to use a succulent and cacti-based potting mix as it has a bit more sand in the medium, making it more free-draining. I also like to use bonsai stones or fine river rocks. I use this at the base of my pots to help with draining away any excess water and for a layer on the top for decoration. Succulents and cacti are a great way to liven up an entertainment area and they can be an eye-catching display at all times of the year. Or they can be another addition to your plant collection. So why not try giving them a go and seeing what you can create in your garden? <laughs>